More than a dozen pharmaceutical companies are racing to develop pandemic flu vaccines. These big firms from Europe to China either have it ready or in the final stages of testing. But which vaccine is right for you and how can you know it's safe? Well, the basics are the same as the seasonal flu shots we're all used to. But because this vaccine is being rushed out to the world, some ingredients may have changed. For example, some contain adjuvants. This is a substance added to the vaccine to promote a more aggressive response from your immune system. Adding an adjuvant means less of the antigen, the dead H1N1 virus, needs to be used. It can also increase protection if the virus mutates. An adjuvant called squalene is often criticised because several scientific studies show it causes immune disorders in mice. But the World Health Organisation says there's no need for concern. About safety, many people are worried about the safety of adjuvanted vaccines. And I must say that we have all reasons to believe that these vaccines will be safe. Most European countries will roll out vaccines with adjuvants, but the USA is not. So if it's a concern for you, it can be avoided. But because adjuvants boost your immune response, you may need two doses instead of one. Thiamersal is the next pharmaceutical buzzword you need to be aware of. It's basically a preservative that protects the vaccine from contamination, but it contains a tiny amount of mercury, an element that can cause poisoning. In the US, it's been suggested that thiamersal in child vaccines has caused a spike in autism, but you're more likely to hear this on Oprah than Discovery Science. The WHO says it's investigated thiamersal again and again, and it is safe. All these investigations have showed, as to know, that there is no link between uh, thiamersal and uh, autism. But what if you wanted a vaccine that has no thiamersal or adjuvants or squalene? Well, this nasal spray released this week in the US has none of the above, but it hasn't been fully tested on pregnant women or asthmatics, both highly susceptible to H1N1. We're concerned that the vaccines have not been tested as there is thoroughly as they should have on the populations that they're being recommended for. Healthy children and adults were tested. They're targeting it at pregnant women and children who have underlying health problems. We don't really have any data on it. It becomes an experiment in effect. With more than a dozen H1N1 vaccines soon to be available, the choice for the consumer is there. The key is to become informed on which is right for you. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera.